Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and welcome to this episode. Um, this one is a little bit different than usual. It's a Batmobile challenge issued by Devil's Details Diecast. I'll have a link in the description below. So the goal was to create a version of the Batmobile that didn't currently exist and to not use a current or any kind of Batmobile model as a starting point. So I found this Thunderbird from Hot Wheels and I'm kind of retro, you know, that's where I kind of lean for stylings and everything else. So first off, the wheels were way too small. So I decided to go with some bigger meats in the back. And then I, I have these smooth uh, moon disc wheels for the front that I thought would be kind of cool. I know they don't match, but that wasn't the point. The point was to kind of build something. I, I This is kind of a weird build. Um, it didn't, it, it came out exactly how I imagined it. And I get this piece of twin turbos that was in my junk pile. I have no idea what it came off of. I'm not even sure if it was a Hot Wheels. Um, but I had to do a lot of cutting and fitting. And the goal was to kind of set it on the back. But the, the whole, this whole thing, it, it came out good, um, but it didn't, and it came out exactly how I envisioned it. My problem is, is I envisioned it wrong, <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, it's just, it was one of those builds where I, I kind of had it in my head, and it just really didn't materialize, even though it looked exactly how it was in my head. It was just, again, it's hard to explain. It's just one of those weird builds that just didn't seem to, didn't vibe. Um, again, it came out okay, but it certainly didn't have the final effect. I was looking for a certain wow factor, and, I'm, and I guess I'm just missing it. So, um, But fitting that was a little bit of a challenge. I, You know, it's got the um, sloped rear, so I had to do a little filing, grinding, fitting, grinding, filing, fitting. There was a little, um, little bit of effort there on that. And uh, because the seat backs, you know, it's got that um, the hard top, convertible hard top thing going on. So it, it was a little bit of a challenge trying to get everything to line up and, and sit fairly smooth, even though I knew I was going to cover a lot of that up. Um, but my Dremel tool was um, put to good use on this one, let's say. And uh, a little bit of grinding. And fortunately, it was plastic, so it was very easy to, to play around with and, and, and make work. So but because it was some random piece I found it, it must have sat over the rear wheels or something so it had like a wheel well opening on the back so I'm going to use some milliput to kind of fill in that a little bit to make it um, not so tacky and god-awful looking where the uh, the wheels would have sat so I'm just kind of filling in a small spot I probably overdid it on this um, but I'd rather it's easy to work with and easy to trim after the fact so this allowed me to really pack it in there and pack it underneath so I get a nice nice fit and then I kind of just mold it and once it dries I can file it down and sand it and you know it's just it's really easy to work with it does seem to take a little longer to dry than I'd like um, but overall as far as something to work with that you can mold and make into what you want the stuff's awesome I really really like it but it is a little bit of a pain in the neck to uh to putts with it sticks everywhere you have to keep wetting it and wetting your fingers and even that it still tends to be a little little sticky um but yeah it doesn't dry as fast as i'd like it to um that i did use equal parts like you're supposed to um, but again it's it is what it is and it worked out well it's there's nothing wrong with it it's just personal preference i'd rather use something else i guess um, but i don't do a lot of it so in the end it's fine so i've got this brass rod that I use um, for axles sometimes and it's just it's really easy to work with because it's brass it's easy to bend um, or crimp the ends to to make your own axles um, so I've, I've once in a blue moon I will use it um, instead of making axle tubes and I didn't want to use there wasn't a lot of room in this to start playing around with axle tubes and everything else so um, I just found that this works you know, in certain places where space is really tight and, and grinding really isn't an option. Um, there's a lot of times if you guys watch, I will grind the inside of my fender wells or I'll, you know, I'll shrink the, 
the chassis up a little bit. There's a lot of little things I can do. Uh, this one, uh, being a metal base, just made that very difficult. So the brass rod really worked out excellent in this particular case. So I'm going to go complete chaos black on this from Citadel. And I did the chassis. I taped off, obviously, the front and rear bumpers. I'll do some detailing on that later on in the video. But at this stage, now that it's painted, I can glue my wheels in and at least have a rolling chassis to play around with. And it's just one step. You know, and if you guys ever watch my videos, I do everything. I film everything and show you all the edits as I do this. I don't do anything out of order. So um, it's, it's all over the place. It's because I'm all over the place. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the this is another part of the, the whole build that I screwed up on. Um, I, I didn't want it to be all black. I wanted um, some red on the sides so i decided to, to mask off and paint and i grabbed the red paint and i ended up grabbing the apple red which was a candy and i wasn't paying attention so i ended up mixing some metal flake in there uh it ends up looking root beerish again uh, but it is red under certain light um, but i really screwed it up and at that point trying to strip with everything on there it was going to be too much work um so i just let it ride <laughs> and uh I mean, it looks good, but it's not as... I wanted it more red, but I didn't want it super red to begin with, but this kind of went to the extreme. So um, I'm using the Null Oil, which is a uh, essentially a black wash, just to highlight the grill areas and things like that to kind of make it pop and add a little bit of depth in my builds. Um, the turbos or turbines, let's call them turbines, I'm going to highlight those. I painted them Lead Belcher, uh, silver from Citadel. I know I haven't said that in a long time, and everybody kind of busts my balls about that. So, Lead Belcher. <laughs> the uh, red I'm using is a Mephiston red, and then I'm just going to do um, a bunch of little highlights just to kind of make it pop and give it some depth. The I'll add a little bit of chrome, and then just kind of give it a black wash after to make it a little bit grungy i mean and this is all personal preference again i don't know what this came off of if anybody recognizes it let me know um i have i do electrical during the day so i had some fire wire or fire alarm wire uh, which is i believe eight i think this is 18 too and i'm using that to wire and add a little bit of a little something something to the turbines and i'm twisting it up and then i'll just kind of I, if you noticed earlier, I kind of ground down the, the beginning of it, you know, like where it hits the seats. So there was a hole, so it worked out perfect. I could stick those in there and then just, it's very pliable, um, the, the wires themselves. They're just stiff enough that you can use it for, um, to get it to form however you want. So that was uh, another advantage. If you go much higher, if you go like 16 or 14 uh, gauge wire, it's just a little too difficult to work with. So the 18, or if you um, you'd probably go 22 or 20, but uh, the 18 is what I happen to have. Worked out really well. Um, it allowed me to, you know, do it on both sides and gives it this futuristic feel, in my opinion. Um, again, the, this is exactly, I have nobody to blame but myself. This came out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, but again, it, it, I think it missed the mark and granted, I know I'm my own worst critic, but, um, I do not like it to be honest with you, but, um, it's certainly not a bad build in any way, shape or form, but it's just, I think it missed the mark. So I'm going to add some red to the interior. Um, I painted it black. It was white originally. And then uh, the red details. And this is the null oil, um, again, that I mentioned earlier that I was going to do. Once I did everything, got it all wired, I'm going to hit the turbines with that. Gives a little bit of a little bit of depth. It fills in the cracks, fills in the the recesses, and gives a little bit more, a little bit more realism and depth where again we all know it's plastic and it's a toy but at the same time you want it to look as realistic as you possibly can for a make-believe turbine on the back of a thunderbird <laughs> uh, but yeah this was a fun this really was a fun project i know i'm kind of beating myself up um but when 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 jamie at um, devil's details diecast kind of brought this up it was just like wow that's that's brilliant um and 
I had all this, again, I had this great vision of what it was going to be, and it turned out to, to not quite be exactly um, Batmobile-ish, if that's such a thing. Uh, but I do like it, and it came out really good, but I'm, I'm so happy that he offered to do this um, as a challenge, and I had I did have a lot of fun doing it, even though I'm beating myself up. Uh, but yeah, this... Um, they will, I, I know I mentioned it earlier, but there will be a link down below. So make sure you check out his, uh, his page as well. And I'm sure you'll have links to everybody who participated or a way to <clears throat> check out everybody's videos. But this was, um, this was definitely a different kind of build for me. I enjoy, got a little bit of a cross between Gaslands and uh, a regular custom. So this is what I started with, which looks perfect. <laughs> Um, it was a little dirty. It was an older casting that I had kicking around. It was loose. So there was some scratches and miscellaneous stuff. But And I did keep the wheels because I love the wheels. They're just too small for what I wanted. And um, they sit way too far in. It looked stupid. So this is what I ended up with. Um, I really, really enjoyed building this. I think it looks good. Um, not necessarily Batmobile material, um, per se. But... It's definitely different, and it allowed me to be uh, creative and have a little bit of fun, which I think is the most important thing, um, especially now. If you're watching this, this is during the corona outbreak, and uh, being stuck at home, sometimes it's nice to just have some creativity and, and have fun and go nuts, and that's kind of the whole point of this hobby. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Stick around. I got some pictures here, and I will catch you on the next one.